Greetings, Daniel Perseto for Adobe Photoshop CS6 Extended. And today we're looking at a model that was created originally by Noel Carbani, and he graciously let me use this in another video. I am using it again. Someone asked a question, how did you create the ring? Well, how did Noel create this ring? And I will show you very quickly here. Let's go ahead and click on the scene. And this is the 3D scene. And you'll notice here on the edge, there is a crack, there's a seam here. And this is where the model is joined. And if we go to the 3D properties, I'm gonna, I'm gonna well, first let me go to the deform properties to show you what's happening here. I'm gonna take out the horizontal angle, I'm gonna bring it back to, you know, just move it around here. It's now at 75, 60. It is being joined together, being laid, so to speak, and to create this, this object. So it's, it's not really an illusion, but it, it's, it is an illusion in some ways. You can see that if I enter into the source, I, I did that really fast, let me go back here, go into the 3D properties, edit source, I got changed to the pen tool, let me switch back here. You will notice that there's a shape here, and that shape is what he made an outline with the pen tool to generate an extrusion to create that that ring that you see here. And so what he did was he took that extrusion, it was extruded, and then he bent it. He did a horizontal angle X here and just wrapped it around itself there, 360 degrees, and that created the ring here. And that's what you see here. And then he just added just tremendously beautiful textures there. And so that's how the ring was created. It was quite simple in, in that context, right? I mean, we could all make one of those rings. So let's all go make rings. If you have any other questions, I'll try to get to them as, as soon as I can. And thank you for watching.